To start a new flyer, simply click one of the template variation buttons shown here. This alert prompt is telling you that the template is opening up in a new window or tab depending on your browser settings. This just means that in some cases in order to return to FlyerMaker Pro's main controls you may have to close the window or switch to a new tab. Now that I've got my template open I just want to show you some of the basics. Every item on the page can be dragged by just clicking on it and dragging the element where I want it. Text works the same way just click and drag the items to where they need to be. I'd like to show you now how to begin working with the elements on your page. A photo works by just simply clicking on the photo first to begin with and then I can use the keyboard shortcuts to change position of the photo, the size, rotation, and the width. The uh, end key will shrink the photo, the home key will expand the photo, the page up key will make the photo wider, and the page down key will make it more narrow. I can use the arrow keys to go up, down, left, and right. For photos, I can use the insert key to rotate the photo to the left, and the delete key will rotate the photo to the right. The Remarks text field has a unique feature. By using the Page Down key, I can shrink the box, and you'll notice that the words will wrap to fit the, no the box. And the Page Up key will expand the box. Again, the words will wrap. The Marketing Remarks field has its own text editor. I just hold the Shift key and click on the Remarks, which opens the Remarks editor. I can now begin editing the text or change the fonts within the text. Simply highlight the text you want to change, then using some of the text controls to the right, I can change various aspects of the text. Any of the photos can be exchanged with a new photo by holding the Shift key and clicking on the photo which brings up the photo select panel. I then roll my mouse over the thumbnail of the photo I want and click it. If I want to add a new text field to label my flyer, I open the control panel and click the button that says add new text field. The field appears at the top of the flyer. Now I can drag it to where I want on the flyer and begin editing the field by holding the shift key and click on the text field. I can change the field to whatever I want it to say and I can also change the font for the new text field or the color. I can also add another photo to the flyer opening the control panel and click the button that says add new photo. A new blank photo holder will appear at the top of the flyer which I can now drag into place. I hold the shift key and click on it which opens up the photo select panel. I click the thumbnail that I want and the new photo appears. Every item on the flyer can be made to appear or disappear by just simply clicking on the item and then using the control delete key combination to make it disappear. The item will disappear. Holding the control key and hitting the insert button makes it reappear. Same for any item that you click on. First click on it, control delete, Control Insert. Inside the control panel you also have on off buttons which can turn items on or off individually. Inside the control panel you will see the template variations button. You click on it 
and the template variations panel opens up allowing you to scroll through our list of presets that allow you to just click on the thumbnail to rearrange your flyer with one of our many presets. The control panel also has the background picker available to allow you to select a new background for your flyer. Any of these thumbnails you can click on and your background will change to any of our many optional backgrounds. When you find one you like, you can also change the intensity of the color by dragging the fade texture slider up or down to save ink on your flyer. When I'm satisfied with the design of my flyer, I'll just go back into the control panel and the main control panel presents the option of saving your flyer. You click the button that is labeled Save Current Settings. You will then see the prompt that tells you the flyer was successfully saved to our server. And if you want to just begin all over from scratch, you click the button that says Erase the flyer and get a default. This will start you again with a new unsaved flyer that you can just edit manually or begin by just going to one of our template variations and start from there.